This is Pete O'Neill. Sorry about that. All good. And introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, representing double five, this is Rodrigo Lopez. Here we go. Yeah, here we go. Rodrigo just sits right to his butt and goes right into the De La Hiva game. And uh, I'm expecting this to be a very, very technical matchup. This is um, this one's not going to be an easy win for either. You know, and that's this is the thing right now too with a lot of modern BJJ is that. You have to stand and pass. Going down to your Good knees is, is, is honestly you're you're just putting yourself in danger. So the standing position is very strong, and you have a lot more you have a lot more abilities to be able to pass and more opportunities, and you're in a lot less danger. Um, Well, it looks like Rodrigo, Rodrigo here is going to be going for a calf slicer, but his hand is too low. It's got to get a little higher up on the calf. But once he triangles, once he puts his hand in there, if he triangles his legs, that hand's stuck. So he's got to climb up a little bit more. Oh, nice sweep. Oh, he's going for a belly down ankle lock here. Ooh. Ooh. That, yeah, Pete, Pete ain't. Pete ain't even wor worried about it right now. He's got good control on that leg, clearing his knee line. Yeah, Rodrigo just constantly on the tack of that straight ankle lock. I mean, this is a this is a difficult position to be in. You're on the edge of the stage. Do you stop? Do you keep going? Are you waiting for the ref? He, you know. Yeah. You can tell Pete ain't even worried about that ankle lock. Not even a grimace. I guess the, the referee decided to keep a stand up because they were they yeah because they, they abandoned the position. From no, the they, he was holding the position, but because it's on the edge, and then they they both kind of just like nonchalantly like you want to reset right. it's hard to determine who was where and how deep it was so when you're in a submission it's it's very difficult to say i had it this deep and then you get people arguing all the time on stage saying oh no it was this deep it was that deep the word passionate arguing would probably be very <laughs> much because i've seen some pretty passionate arguing about it. oh yeah i think it's just best to reset equal equal opportunity Yes, they will be doing a, a tiebreaker for the title fight. Correct. It is a three-ref decision. That was a, a comment made by Nathan M Mitchell. I believe it's going to be four four minutes, right? And then if and then there's another four minutes for the. Uh, I thought it came down to a ref decision, but that well, could be my misunderstanding. You know what? There we go. Better see the comments. Yeah, Nathan, I, I believe, uh, if I'm not mistaken, we are uh, all title fights are a three ref decision. So, um, yeah, guys, if you guys are just tuning in, uh, Submission Hunter Pro live uh, here in Dallas, Texas, at Duncanville. Um, you know, we're we're here for the. Uh, Second black belt matchup of the evening. We got a couple more left to go on a good title fight on the line. So uh, please stay tuned or share. Please hit that share button. And if you guys have any questions in the comments, please comment, and I will. We will do our best to answer you. Yeah, we got about well, forty-eight percent, so it should be <laughs> awesome. Yeah, these two, these two right here. We got two minutes thirty seconds left. Uh, you got Rodrigo here with uh, Marcus Adelanche in his corner. Um, oh, 
P looks like he could be going here for a knee bar. He got that. Is he going to slide his right knee underneath a little bit? They're wondering if Stefan Bonta won. Let's go look at Stefan. I didn't see a Stefan earlier. If you guys are talking about purples, blues, or brown belts, they have not gone yet. Oh, yep. He's into match number 37. So stay tuned. Yeah, Pete, Pete's got a good grip here. Uh, got a nice control of the sleeve. Putting his... Going into that 50-50 guard. Trying to rock the base back. Yeah, th this is definitely... I, I had a very good feeling this match was going to be a very, very difficult one for both of them. Uh, it's going to be a bit more of a technical battle. Both seem calm and cool collective. Yeah. Doesn't look like any one of them are even worried about one either position. One minute remaining in this match. One minute remaining. Yeah, it looks like he's going for the worm guard here. No? Or a lapel guard and sweeps with it. Thirty Ooh. seconds remaining. That's one of my favorites. Fifty-fifty guard to that arm bar. I've seen a lot of Keenan Cornelius doing that. You need longer legs, though. <laughs> Ten seconds. And Pete going in for that Time. last quick. Mm, that's it, guys. We're going to a draw for this matchup. I know a lot of people think that, uh, you know, oh, they didn't submit each other, but this is a very, very technical battle between these, you know, black belts. It's, uh, it's not easy. Ladies and gentlemen, the seven-minute time limit has expired. This match is a draw.